And we are just getting an update now from Tripura that TMC Neta Sawini Ghosh has now got bail. Remember, she had been taken into arrest and was even booked for allegedly attempt to murder. And that happened just about 24 hours ago. We're now picking up that TMC leader Sawini Ghosh has now been granted bail. My colleague Anupam Mishra is reporting from Kolkata on the same. This was a, a big flashpoint. In fact, this is what escalated all the protests today as well in Delhi. Anupam, uh, what exactly happened and is she now out on bail already? Yeah, it's a big relief for uh, TMC that Shani Ghosh, the youth president who was uh, uh, arrested yesterday, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, is getting bail and she will be out soon. Uh, and she was arrested after a long interrogation by Agartala police. But uh, in fact, this is not the, uh, uh, in fact, this is the start of, uh, uh, of the battle for TMC because the real test will happen on uh, 25th of November when Tripura will go to civic polls and the results of that civic polls will decide the roadmap and somehow the destiny of TMC in Agatala. In fact, we have to understand the uh, TMC's plan for this and how, why TMC uh, has used full force for, TMC, uh, T, uh, for, for this Tripura incident because uh, the uh, TMC's plan is very clear. They uh, want Mamta Banerjee to be the uh, prime minister, next prime minister and for to achieve that and it in fact it is a, a very difficult task in fact uh, uh, it is not very easy and to achieve that they are uh, they they will have to spread their wings into other states uh, other than bengal and uh, tripura is the first state they want to tripura spread would their wings. be that and next that, big state after bengal yes anupam that. i request you to stay on with me because it is also important apart from this bail what has been happening and why precisely tripura is so big for all these parties including the bjp and the tmc So let me now help you understand the number game or why both the BJP ruling in Tripura and the TMC trying to make inroads into Tripura are trying so hard. Take a look at these numbers. It's an almost 80 about total strength where the Bhartiya Janata Party has about 36 and in the 60 assembly seat that the CPM has about 16 and IPFT has 8. Now remember while you don't see the Trinamool Congress here, it did contest uh, there in uh, 2018, did not manage to make its way in only 0.30% was its eventual vote share and therefore Trinamool Congress will want to make further inroads into Tripura which is neighbouring to Bengal where of course the Trinamool Congress is extremely strong and therefore after this while I help you understand why there are these accusations the BJP according to the TMC is intimidating the journalists and the activists. But the Trinamool Congress says they are trying to fight it. BJP, of course, denying any of these allegations.